Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you update your firmware on your FR Sky receivers using your Tyrannus X Lite. The picture I just showed you is of the two leads I made up from my XM Plus. One of them has a servo plug so that if you've got pins on your receiver you can plug in. The other one is how probably most people would use it so that I could solder it to the receiver. You must be very careful how you wire these plugs up, otherwise you could fry your receiver. The next picture is going to show you how to wire your leads and plugs. Let's first take a look at the Tyrannus X Lite smart port pins. And you can see from my diagram I've numbered the pins 1 to 3. And the first one is the signal, the middle one is live and the third one is ground. Now we move on to the plugs and leads. The top lead here, I added a servo plug to the receiver end. And you can see that is wired up from the bottom of the plug up is ground, live and signal. And on the other end that goes into the radio, you can see that in, it's showing the plug as uh, ground, live and then signal. The second plug is for when I solder them onto the receivers. And you can see it's the same wiring as the top left plug. That's ground, live and signal, which is the bit that goes into your radio. Now let's take a look at the FR Sky XM Plus receiver. You probably already know the wiring on this because you would have wired it already into your quadcopter. But you can see I've numbered there one to three and it's the signal, then the live and then the ground. Let's update our XM Plus receiver using our Tyrannus X Lite. Okie dokie, right. On my receiver, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, I always have the bind button upwards and then you can see I've got signal, live and ground. Okay, then to plug it into our radio, now this one has got the little tab still on it, but it should be in this order, which is signal, live and ground. So we're going to plug this into the radio. Now I hope you can see this. Oh, the backlights came on. All right, we're going to push the menu button across and then come back one. We're going to use our joystick to come down to firmware. Then we go to the XM Plus. I'm going to use this one, not the RSS i16. You're going to click. Whoops, hold the button down, sorry. And then be careful what you do here. And you've got you know, three options there, but you're going to use the flash S port option and click. And there we go. And you can see, let me pull this over so you can see the receivers flashing. And it says on the screen that it's writing. And it's not really a difficult process. It's just making sure you get your wiring correct. And there we go, all done. You can just push OK and then exit. And there we go, all done. And now we can pull this out carefully. There we go. And that's it, process complete. I do hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching it. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye. Bye bye.